Good morning, yogis. Not sure who is taking class today. We shall see. But I kind of love this one class for sure that I do since I do it the whole time through. Yay, at least one person. Hi, Christine, how are you? Now Christine has to take class. I'm just kidding. She's like, no, no, I didn't mean to go on to that live feed. Um, <clears throat> if you are taking class today, grab two blocks to place underneath your legs as an option. So feel free to grab those and we will start soon. Um, we are working to a peak pose today and Feel free to do it or not. This class is going to be placed back in my uh, Facebook page, Lisa D Yoga Fit. So um, if you haven't liked that, do that. And yeah, we'll get started in just a few minutes. Again, uh, two blocks if you want to to start. You don't need them. You can also. Um, just use your hands for what we're going to do. And um, that's it. I will do these classes if people come. So if not, then um, I'll just take this outside, which is a thought too. Um, yeah. Hello, whoever is on. We officially can't start though until eight o'clock. That's when I'm starting. And I'm going to get my music all queued up. If there's anything today that doesn't feel good in your body, make the modification as you need. And I'm getting my music all ready to go. You can actually go right into Supta Baddha Konasana. So come onto your back, spread your knees wide, place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. And you can just start breathing. Take a deep breath in through your nose, open mouth, exhale it out. Hi, Denise. I think it's me and you, Denise, doing yoga today, which is amazing, right? Um, we are starting in Supta Baddha Konasana, just in case you are just joining now. So your legs come out to the sides, bring the soles of your feet together, place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, and start to find your breath. So take a deep breath in through your nose, Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Hi, Joanne, good morning. Again, find that deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. You're welcome, Denise. I was saying earlier, I will teach if people come, but if people don't come, then I'll, I will do something different. So no pressure. Denise is like, all right, I have to come out every single Friday, just kidding. Um, next week, I actually think Lauren Dem and Andrea may Pop in. So that might be a little fun, like celebrity sighting. Anywho, back to today. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Supta Baddha Konasana. That's where we start. Find your breath. You always know you have this open mouth exhale option. Or inhale through your nose. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Kiki. How are you guys? Ujjayi breath is an option. Exhale through your nose. Find that constriction on the back of your throat and just let your week go. I don't know about you guys. I've been having really great weeks, but by Friday, whew, I feel it. So let's just let it all go. Whatever's going on in your world. And I'm going to offer you this intention today on your mat to practice, which is honor yourself. Good morning. Honor yourself. On your mat, that means a lot of things, right? It means you take into consideration all of your injuries, take into consideration the workouts you've done this week, make any changes, any modifications that your body needs. If you need to take it up a notch, you do it. If you need to pull it back, you do. 
So this entire practice, you're asking yourself, what do I need? What do I need? And then maybe you take it off your mat, right? Decision making, for me, super hard not to consider who would be disappointed if I do something. So I'm really practicing honoring myself. So bring that to your mat. If that speaks to you, let that lead your practice today. If not, the other thing that's been in your heart or in the front of your mind, bring it. Hold it and let's start our class. You've got two rounds of breath here. Deep breath in, exhale, let it go. <clears throat> One more time, deep breath in, exhale it out. Awesome guys, you stay in this Suttavada Konasana position. Hands behind your head, lower down, exhale, lift at the top. So you lower and lift, we've got a Suttavada Konasana crunch. If this is too much for your hips, you can just take your feet, dig them into the floor, bring your knees up, make it a basic crunch. Otherwise, we're here for four, for three, for two, and when we add on, so crunch up, lift your legs and squeeze, lower down. So lift, hold, lower, down. Exhale, squeeze your inner thighs, and down. You lift, one more time like that, and hold right here. Flex your feet, lower and lift, down and up. Start to raise your legs all the way up to the ceiling. Flex your feet, press your heel straight to the ceiling. Feel that great stretch as you crunch, lower and lift. We're here for four, for three, for two, and one. Hold it up, extend your left leg long, ground it, Peace fingers on the right, grab onto your big toe. Maybe you bend and straighten your leg, lower your head, neck, and shoulders down. And then find your legs straight, hold a static stretch right here. Ground the back of your left thigh. Maybe you pull your toes closer towards you and out to the side, keep engaging your left leg, press it into the floor and then bring it all the way back to center. Bend your knee, supine twist over the back crack moment, right? Ground your right shoulder, big twist here, and then come back to center. Lift your shoulders, hover your left leg, extend your right, point your toes. Scissor kicks just on the right side. So pull in, send it out, in and out. Point your toes, lift your shoulders, abs are working, stretching through your right leg. <sighs> Find all that length. You're also stretching through the top of your foot for four, for three, for two. Last one, extend your right leg. Left leg comes up, ground your right leg, grab your big toe of your left foot. Lower your upper body down. Find that movement in your left leg. Bend and straighten here. Check in with your shoulder. Pull your left shoulder away from your ear. Hold it up. Maybe you stay right here. Maybe you lift your toe up and over to the side. Oh, that feels good. Denise, this feels good after a, a long week, right? Ground the back of your right leg and bring it back to center. Bend your knee, supine twist. Take your leg up and over. There's the back crack. Look to the left side. And then come back to center. Extend your left leg up. Take your shoulders off your mat. Point your toe here. You pull in and extend. That scissor kick is on the left leg. Exhale, 
exhale, pull and reach. Really point your toes for eight, seven, you've got four, three, right away guys, bicycles. Find it, straight legs for four, three, bend your knees here for four, three, two, straight legs. Point your toes, flex your feet, you choose. Bend your legs, hold your bend. Right here, big twist. Exhale, exhale. Every time you twist, you're here for four, for three, for two. Pull your knees in, send your shoulders down. Right here, just a little side to side. This is like the hardest stretch for me. My hip flexors are so tight. When you're ready, pull your knees into your chest. Find a tuck and roll, cross your ankles, tabletop. That's where we meet. In your tabletop, spread your fingers wide, find your cat cow. You do you here, guys. Honor yourself. Opening up through your chest your back, you thread the needle here, you sit back into child's pose, maybe that's what you need. Wherever you are though, you're doing your thing, you're doing your thing. We're here for a big breath in, hi Bella, exhale, let it go one more time, big breath in, Exhale in, out, step your toes back, find your high plank, your high plank right here. We move on, right leg lifts up to the sky. You've got one glute raise here, then lift your leg all the way up, bring it all the way forward to a runner's lunge. Hold your runner's lunge, hold it right here. Step your knee over your ankle. Maybe you send your back knee all the way down. Maybe you come to your forearms. Oh, I need this runner's lunge, guys. Find length through your spine. Big breath in. Come back to center. Find your high plank. Flex your toes. You've got just a set of slow blue raises. Lift and lower. Pay attention to your inner thighs. Keep your inner thighs scissoring. Keep your toes facing straight down. You're here for four, three, two, and one. Pull your knee into your chest. Lower down, modify side plank. Left arm lifts up. Big stretch. Reach your heart up to the ceiling. And then your right arm comes all the way down. You've got a side plank here. Find that lift and lower. Thread the needle in your side forearm plank. So you reach up and through. As you reach through, hold your everything in nice and tight. Like you're trying to make more space for your arm to reach. You're here for four, for three, for two, back to your high plank. Hold here, left leg, lift it up and hold. Big breath in, exhale it out. Inhale your leg high. Exhale, step it forward. Find your runner's lunge. Sink your hips down. Step your knee over your ankle. Maybe just start to let your week go in your mind, but also in your body. What have your legs done this week? Give it a good stretch to your hips. Big breath in here. Exhale, send your legs straight back. One leg in high plank. Find that knee raise. Press into your hands. Find a long spine. Squeeze your right leg. You're here, eight. And pull your knee right into your chest. Find that high 
out of side to side. Plank, open up. Big stretch here. Lengthen through your right toes. Big breath in. Exhale, left arm comes down, side forearm plank. Find the first, and then we thread the needle. Every time your right arm reaches up, lift your right hip too. Hold and reach. For four more. For three. For two. And one. Come back to center. Find your high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Oh, that feels good. Send your heels to your mat. Take your gaze between your inner thighs. And then relieve your wrists of some tension by pressing into your entire hand. Press into every single fingertip. Move your chest back towards your legs. You can pedal out your feet here. You can lift one leg up at a time. You choose. Everyone right here, start to turn your heels to the left. Keep your chest square. Just stretch through your IT band there and bring it to the opposite side. Keep pressing your chest back to your legs. And then come back to center. Find your high plank right here. You've got two push-ups down. Press back to high plank. Just kidding, that's down dog. Your two push-ups, press back to down dog. Press two high plank, you go again. You've got two push-ups, press back, high plank again. So as you press back, really sink your heels down to the ground and forward. You've got two here and back. Hold it center, toe tap right and left. They can be nice and quick. You can slow it all down. Honor yourself, right? Honor your body. You're here for three, two. You can stay here or plank jacks. Take it. It can be quick. It can be slow. You choose for four, three. Mountain climbers, guys, slower, quick. You choose. Let's go. Heart rate is going up. Press away your back, pull your belly in. Let's go guys, today we're gonna get a workout, we're gonna sweat it out. We're here for eight more counts. You have eight, six, four, two, and press back to your down dog. Big breath in, lift your heels high, walk tippy toe to the top of your space. Bend your knees, right here, rag, doll, everything hang heavy. Grab onto your elbows, head, neck, and shoulders, relax. Find all the length that you can. All the length you can. Drop your weight into the tops of your feet. Your lower, lower your left hand down. Reach your right arm up. Big twist here. Pull your belly in, look up to your top hand, and switch it out. Right hand down, left arm lifts. Big stretch. Come back to center, heel to your feet together. Roll up, bring your hands to heart center to side your intention. If it is to honor yourself, awesome. If it's something else, bring it to the front of your mind. We'll seal it with one deep breath in. Exhale it out. Let's get into a flow here, guys. Nice and easy. Inhale your arms high, mountain pose. Lower your shoulders, squeeze your legs tight. Exhale, back bend, lift your heart. Pull your elbows down. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Send your hips back. Inhale, half lift, draw your shoulders. Away from your ears, step back to your high plank. Shift forward two inches on your toes. First chaturanga, hold it. Hover, pull your elbows in. Lower your shoulders, squeeze your quads tight. Now flip your toes, inhale up dog, look to the right. 
and to the left. Back to center, exhale down, dog, big breath in, exhale it out, inhale, look forward, exhale, travel there, however you want, inhale, half lift, exhale, forward fold, here's our flow, inhale, mountain, exhale, back bend, inhale, mountain, exhale, forward fold, inhale, half lift, Exhale, flow to your down dog. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Again, inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel there. Inhale, half lift, little change. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, one-legged mountain, right leg reaches forward. So here's your one-legged Tadasana, right? Now extend forward. Like you're trying to hit the button of an elevator with your heel. Flex your toe like crazy. Big squeeze in here. Exhale it out one more time. Big breath in. Cross your ankle. Exhale, sink down. Figure four. It's a little early, right? So find some movement here. Maybe interlace your hands with your chest. Maybe you move through both of those poses. So you have that big kick forward and then sink down. Big reach. Sink lower. Take one more just like that. Big reach. Sink and hold. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, flow to your down dog. I'm gonna throw a jump back in today because I basically really need it, guys. So if you wanna join me, do it. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel there. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, one-legged, left leg extends, old. This is left to honor always, this left knee. So I'm really gonna try it though. Squeeze your leg tight, flex your foot. Right here for one more big breath in. Exhale, cross your ankle. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a seat, figure four. Lift your heart, press your palms together. Sink a little bit deeper. If you want, you can stay here, or you find your flow between both. That feels so good today. So good, my friend and I went for a really long walk last night, and you would think I had the craziest workout in my life. So we're here for one more. That's what happens when you mix it up. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, find your flow. There's not a jump back. I forgot about it. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Big breath in, guys. Exhale, it out. Moving on. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, need the same tricep. Same tricep. Lift, lift, lift. Now lift your hips one inch higher. Step over for a runner's lunge. If that doesn't feel good in your body, you're gonna hold that knee to same try. Bring it right back, knee to same. Inhale your leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Lower all the way down. Inhale, on to the rise. Lower your shoulders, hands behind your head. Big breath in here, send your right hip back. Left hip forward, there's the big stretch. Exhale, half split, send your arms back behind you. Prolong, maybe you grab onto your big toe here. Sing a little bit deeper. We find a flow right about now, guys. Here we go, inhale, on the asana. Exhale, half split. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. Reach up. 
One more time. Hold your half split, hold. Reach your pinkies. Left arm comes down, inhale. Easy twist. Pull your belly in like you're making space for your body to twist. Grow tall though first, then you twist. Big breath in here. Exhale, lower your right hand down, extend pyramid pose. So we just straighten our front leg, square hips to the front, keep your back heel lifted, legs stay long and separated. Feel that stretch though in the back of both legs. Big breath in, exhale it out, step on your right foot, inhale, warrior two, Sink into your legs. Look for your big toe on your right foot. Exhale. Extended side angle. Big reach to the top. Or, or you've got that big beach ball. Grab it. But if you grab the beach ball, right, your top arm wants to come and hold it here. But we're going to hold it up and out. So grow tall. Heart reaches to the ceiling. For a big breath in, exhale it up, inhale, reverse triangle, my favorite lately. Lift your right toes, straighten your leg. Exhale, low lunge, you can hover your fingertips or bring them all the way down. Ground your left hand, inhale, horizon lunge. Turn onto the edges of your feet, sink your hips down, lift your heart up. If you want, you can take all the movement here. You lift and lower, lift and lower. If this doesn't feel good in your body, you can hold a runner's lunge. You can come back to that easy twist during our flow. Come back to center, find a little lunge, exhale, akapata, chaturanga, we meet in down dog. Big breath in, exhale it out, inhale your left leg high. Exhale, you the same, hold, lift your hips, runner's lunge, bring it right back, you the same. Inhale, high. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Inhale, on to the answer, your arms. Maybe this time, interlace your hands. Take a big chest expansion here. Dig into your left heel, send your left hip back. Big breath in. Exhale, half splits. Send your hips back. Reach your hand, touch your toe, or straighten your arms forward. Square your hips. Big breath in. Exhale it out one more time. Big breath in. Find your flow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. Inhale, up. Sink it back. Pull your belly in as you move. Reach and back one more time. Lift, hold right here. Right hand presses into the ground, left arm. Reach it up, inhale, easy twist. Check in with your back leg. Squeeze your quad, your inner thigh. Scissors to your opposite leg, even though they're spread apart. Big breath in. Exhale, extend the pyramid. Straighten through your front leg. You can always keep a little bend in your front leg. I'll probably keep it during our flow on my left side. Find a long spine, sit your back heel. Inhale, warrior two, open up. You know your warrior two stands, find it. Stack your shoulders, exhale, extended side, reach. Tick tock or grab the beach ball and roll open. Big breath in here. Exhale it out. One more time. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale. Reverse. Send your left shoulder down. Exhale. Cartwheel your arms. Low lunge. Inhale. Horizon. Ooh, roll up to the edges of your feet. Sink your hips down. That feels good. You can hold this static or find the movement here. We're here for four, two, and one. Come back to center, send your left leg back. 
Find your Akapada Chaturanga. And even down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, come to your high plank toe taps. You are right and left and right and left. You can stay here. You can come to a plank jack or even more fun, you've got that plank jack to a pipe. So you're jacking up with your booty and back. Shoulders stay stacked the whole time. For four, three, two, one, hold your high plank. Slow mountain climber. You can keep it here. Or we're going for a run, guys. Get ready. In four. In three. In two. Run it out. Let's go. Let's go. Press your mat away. Honor yourself. If this doesn't feel good in your body, hop up to high knees for eight. For six. For four. Three. Exhale down. Dog. Lift your hips. Send your heels down. Cuddle out your feet. We flow. Grab the movement. Start with your right leg. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale. Knee to sink. Runner's lunge. Knee to sink. Inhale high. Exhale. Low lunge. Inhale. Anjana Asana. Exhale. Half splits. Inhale. Easy twist. Exhale, extended pyramid. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extend inside. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, horizon lunge. Exhale, low lunge. You flow at the pata or not. You can always double up your chaturanga. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, knee the same. Runner's lunge. Need to stay. Inhale your leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, on the asana. Exhale, half split. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, extended pyramid. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, horizon. Exhale, at the bottom, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, high plank. You've got toe taps or those super fun plank jacks with a pipe. Let's go, let's go, you're here. Press your mat away. Press it away. Just like you'll do in a handstand. Press down. For four. Three mountain climbers or standing up. Go. Big push. For four. For three. For two. Down dog. Press up and back. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, knee to sink. Runner's lunge. Knee to sink. Inhale your leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, Anjali Asana. Honor yourself. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, extended pyramid. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, horizon. Exhale, flow, akapata or not. Big breath in. I hope you're sweating. I am sweating. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, need a sing. Runner's lunge. Need a sing. Inhale your leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, Anjali Asana. Exhale, half split. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, extended pyramid. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, horizon. Exhale, flow. Hold your down dog. Hold it here. Big breath in. Exhale it out. One more time. Big breath in. Exhale it out. 
Awesome, how are we doing guys? I hope we're good. We're moving on. Wendy, I need you right now and you're not here. I hope we did both legs, I think we did. From here, from here, inhale your right leg high. Exhale, knee the same, runner's lunge. Knee the same, inhale your leg high. Exhale, half pigeon on the right. Your right knee comes to your right wrist. Lift your chest up, top your back toe under. Lift up tall right here. You've got a big breath in. Exhale it out. Maybe one hand comes up behind your head. Or not. Stay in this half pigeon for one more breath. Back leg tucks under. Press into your hands. Inhale, tuck your back toe, reach your leg up, take that opening up of your hip. Inhale, your leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step it forward. Step on your right foot. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose. Take your left knee straight out from your hip. Squeeze your standing leg tight. Right hand comes to your hip. Peace fingers on the left. Grab on, send your left hip down. Extend your left leg forward. Send your right, your left shoulder down. Straighten out your leg, maybe you're here. Maybe you take it out to the side. Maybe your opposite arm reaches in opposition. Find your intention right here. Honor what your body needs. Strong standing leg. Belly button pulled in. Bring it all the way back to center. Send your left leg back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Hands come to center. We lunge, kick, lunge, airplane. Looks just like this, guys. Join me. Lunge, big kick forward. Lunge, lift your back leg, squeeze. Your pace, your body, Keep your front knee behind your toe. That knee, or that kick can be a knee instead. For four, for three, for two, hold your airplane. Hold it. Turn your left hip down, flex your foot. Big breath in. Exhale it out, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, revolve, crescent lunge. Press your palms together, send your shoulders down. You can hold it right here. If you are a side crower, Denise, step your back foot forward, send your booty down. You can go for a side crow right here. If you're new to side crow, you can practice this position too, right? Bring your butt down, finding the twist right here. Your hands need to be able to reach the floor all the way to the right side when your knees are facing forward. So the practice getting that big twist. We'll all meet right back and that revolved crescent lunge. Hold right here. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale back to crescent lunge. Exhale dancers. Grab the inside of your left foot. Wear your shoulders, reach your hands, kick into your back leg. So lift and kick and lift and kick. Square your shoulders, square your hips here. You got it guys, big breath in. From here, heel, left heel lifts up, hands come close to your foot, standing splits, standing splits. Right hand can come behind your right leg. Lift your left heel high. Option to stay here. Or walk your hands underneath your shoulders. You've got a high jiva. Point your toes. Really reach, reach, reach up high. Tons of engagement in your lifted leg. Tons of engagement in your standing leg as well. Reach it up. 
We're here for two more, just like that. We step it back to low lunge. Find your low lunge. Hold it here. Handstand hops, handstand you choose. I'm gonna show you a really good level one handstand hop. So if you're really new, ground your hands underneath your shoulders. Make jazz hands though. So spread your fingers wide. Look right between your thumbs. Squeeze your back leg. You can practice just lifting up here with a bent front leg. Or maybe you hold it in that standing L back position and just barely lift your front toes as you press into your hands. Maybe you're in that full handstand right here for a big breath in, exhale it out. One more time, big breath. We all walk to that standing split. Oh, one more time. One jiva to hold. So your left leg crosses, hold, then lower all the way down to your neck. Seated twist. Press your right foot down. Right booty goes down, lift your heart, reach your left arm high. Exhale, big twist here. So grow tall and then find that twist in your upper body. Take a moment, right? It's good to rest in between moments of challenge. That is a good thing. Give your body that big breath in. Exhale for the twist. Come back to center, find both toes, point your toes. You can be here, you can be here, or really nice and tall. You got it, guys, big breath in. Exhale it out one more time, big breath in. Exhale, hands come behind your head. Lower down, shoulders lift, toes are lifted. Flutter right here. Nice and straight legs, pointed toes. Hold your flutter for eight, six, for four, three, two, one. Left knee in, right knee in, find it. Big twist here, bicycles, for just eight more counts. You have eight, six, four, three. Tuck and roll to your high plank. You can jump back to that high plank, just find a bend in your elbows. Hold here, spread your fingers wide. Big breath in, exhale it out. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, runner's lunge on the right. You can stay right here, find a quad stretch. That's a great option. You can take another set of our push-ups from the beginning of class. That's one push-up, two push-ups and a reach back. So you can take two push-ups here, reach back. Third option, it's like a choose your own adventure book. Hurdler's pose if you want it. So from your runner's lunge, lower down your back knee, shimmy your right foot more to the front. Take your leg up and over just like a purse. Find your chaturanga arms, shimmy your foot even more when you're ready. Push into your hands, reach your heart. Maybe you lift up and away from the floor. Big breath in, exhale it out wherever you are. Come back to that runner's lunge. If you're doing those push-ups, step forward, bring it back to center. Inhale, warrior two, open up. Big stretch here, straighten your front leg, send your butt back, left hip back. Exhale, triangle pose. Lift your heart. Squeeze your shoulder blades together though. So hand reaches up, shoulder blades squeeze back. Squeeze your back booty. If you want, birds of paradise, bend your front leg. Go for the bind and step it up. Birds of paradise, bend your knees. Walk forward. Keep that bend. Keep a nice tight reach here. And then lift your heart up. You have to trust your standing leg. Honor yourself. Maybe you extend your leg. Maybe you don't. We'll all meet right back in triangle pose. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, half moon, Shapasana today. Your right hand comes up and over, maybe on a block. 
lift your back leg, bend your knees, find that awesome stretch, kick into your hand, just like dancers, pose, reach your heart forward, big breath in, exhale it out, step your left leg back, find your warrior two, inhale, star, exhale, wide legged forward fold, I'm gonna mirror you, Turn your toes forward. I know we've got some headstands happening. Can you play with your legs today a little bit, right? So if you're in your headstand, where's my phone? There we go. If you're in your headstand here, both legs are up, point your toes. Maybe you just bend one leg at a time, reach your opposite leg up, find just maybe the smallest little arch in your back. So you can move through this. You can also straighten your legs and work on a split here instead. Keep your hips nice and square. We're here for another big breath in. Exhale it out. It's super hard to talk in headstand. FYI, in your Wide leg forward, fold. Walk your hands to the front of your space. Heel toe your foot over. Runner's lunge again. Where am I? Here I am. Peace fingers on the right. Grab onto your big toe. We're going to roll right into side plank. So reach your leg forward first. Maybe you're here today. Lift your hip up. And then lift, 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 lift. lift. Big reach up, hold, honor yourself, the balance, whatever it looks like. Then you can bring it right back to that runner's lunge, reach it, and flow. Down, dog. All the fun on the opposite side. Here we go, inhale your left leg high. Exhale, knee the same runner's lunge. Knee the same, inhale, high, exhale, half pigeon. We're gonna keep this upright though, right? So notice, in your half pigeon, your back leg, it's in the splits. Back leg's in the splits, so tuck your knees straight down, square your hips, lift your heart. Maybe one hand comes up at a time, right here. You're here for another big breath in. Exhale it out. Hands come down, take the counter stretch. So reach your leg up, open up to the side, bend your knee. We come right back to center. Take your leg high, exhale, low lunge. Step on your left leg, inhale, one legged mountain here. Flex your toe, peace fingers on the right, left hand to left hip. This is your first stop, right? This is an awesome balance, actually, if you think about it. Super strong standing leg. Then you practice extending forward, then maybe you take it out. Finally, maybe you look to your opposite hand. Big breath in, guys. Exhale, bring it back. Send your right leg back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Hands to your chest. Lunge, kick, airplane. Right here. Your pace. Your pace. Your speed. So my left leg doing the same exact thing I just did on the right. Totally different experience. You can even see the wobble that happens. So I'm always Thinking about it, honoring it, what I do in that airplane, I give myself a little more bend, and I maybe go a little slower in. I'm still gonna do it, but I wanna make it as safe as I can. There it is. Take one more. We're gonna meet in that airplane right here. Hold. Send your right hip down, lift your pinkies, high up. Squeeze your back glutes, big breath in, exhale it out, inhale, press and lunge. Exhale, revolve, hold right here. 
side crow if you want it. Step your back leg forward. Sink your butt down. Go for it to the side. Again, if you are new to side crow, you are finding that big twist, lowering your hands down. Elbows pull in, out around the arms. Look forward. Lift one leg, then maybe two. You can play from there. We're all here for a big breath in. Let's come back to crescent, revolved crescent lunges. Left leg is in front right here. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, dancer's pose. Grab the inside of your right foot this time. Lift your heart and kick. So lift and kick. If you notice that left knee now, I have to find a little bend. I'm totally okay with that though for a big breath in. Exhale, lift your right heel, standing split, lift, lift, lift. Left arm comes back, left hind. My left leg, square your hips. Walk your hands forward, high jivas. A little slower because we're gonna get it up just a little higher at the top. Big breath as you reach your foot higher. We're here for four, keep your hips square. Three more, two more. Your last one, hold it up. Step back, low lunge, hold. Your low lunge, ground your hands. If you're new to handstand hops, spread your fingers wide, place your hands down, back leg finds that standing L. So take your right hip, Send it down. Inner thigh scissor here. Maybe you take just your front foot off the floor a little bit. If you are a full handstander, maybe you're taking that same variation. One leg high, one knee bend, just like you did in headstand. Feel free to play here with whatever you want to for another moment. How are we doing out there? Good? Hope so. All right. When you come back to your low lunge, find a deep breath in here. Exhale it out. Now we're back to standing split. So right heel goes all the way up. We're just passing through to come to that jiva hold. Come all the way down right here. Press into your left foot. Send your left booty down. Right arm reaches up. Find the twist. So lift your heart. Exhale for the twist here. Keep your foot grounded. Keep your left knee grounded too. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Come back to center. Find your boat. Hold it here. Hold it here. Lift your heart. Honor yourself right here. Find the challenge. Be the challenge. Hands behind your head, round through your back, flutter your legs right here. Gaze this up. Legs are so strong, point your toes for eight, six, bicycles, straight legs, bent legs, you choose. Flex your toes, point your toes, you choose. You're here, eight, six, four, three, two, one. Pull your knees in. Tuck and roll cross. Find your high plank. Hold your high plank. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale runners lunge. Options, right? You can stay here. You can go for the quad stretch. You can take more push-ups or hurdlers hold. So I'm gonna take my left leg, shimmy it in. I'm gonna put my left leg on my arm like a purse, just like a purse. Shake my foot more forward, find my chaturanga arms, lift up and forward with my heart, maybe my back leg lifts up for a big breath in. Exhale, bring it back. If you're doing push-ups to the down dog, come back to that runner's lunge, heel toe your foot to center. Inhale, warrior two. Find your warrior two, straighten your front leg, send your right hip back, exhale, triangle. Pose, lift, reach, squeeze your back glutes. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, yoga, right? Challenging strength, 
lots of stretch, so good for you. You can come to that Birds of Paradise and be on the other side, bend into your front leg, find the bind first. When you find the bind, lift your heart up, then step into your birds if you want it. The rest of us, we meet in this triangle, top hand comes down, inhale, half moon pose. Find it, maybe you bend, grab onto your foot, and then kick into your hand, find that big, amazing stretch. We're gonna need that in a little bit. Big breath in, exhale it out, right to your warrior two. Inhale, star, exhale, wide-legged forward fold again. You can stay here. You can find a rolling standasana lunge. Oh, that feels good. And I feel so ready for this now, right? That's what we're doing in these classes. We're working to prepare for a peak pose. This isn't our peak, but we're getting kind of close. Maybe you're doing that headstand again, that headstand with the knee coming down. I thought I was ahead of schedule, but of course I am not. We're here for four, for three, for two, and walk it back to the front of your space. Find that runner's lunge. Again, you can stay here. You can lift your back leg or press into your right hand. Find side plank. Grab onto your big toe, possibly first. Roll over, extend your leg, and lift it all the way up. Move your right shoulder away from your ear. Big lift, and then bring it right back. You can come right into your Akapana Chaturanga. From here, exhale, come to child's pose. Ah, yeah right here, and I have a whole other chunk, but TikTok goes the clock as per usual. So what we're gonna do instead, instead, is go right to our peak. We're doing the splits today, yay. If you've got a block, awesome. If you don't, that's okay. Come to your knees. If you don't wanna do the splits, come into the half splits and just notice. Notice where you are, notice the difference maybe in what it feels like that when we first started doing it in the beginning of class today. If you want to go for the splits, a really great way with one block is to place your block underneath your front thigh. You can bend your knee, kind of get to where your bottom point is, your edge is, and then square your hips back, turn your knee up in the front, knee down in the back, and then you can lift Flex your foot a little to reach a little lower. So maybe when you get on that block, you realize, I don't even need that block, right? It's possible. So hopefully your legs, after all that we've done, feel really ready for this. Mine feel ready today. So thank you guys for joining me to make sure I get in a full practice here. Big breath in. Exhale it out. I'm gonna lift my hips up, pull my leg back, come right back into child's pose, and then when you're ready, take all the same on the opposite leg, opposite leg. So I'm gonna start with that block underneath, see where I am today, various, various days of the splits these days. But notice here, so right now, my hips are kind of going to the upper 45. I need to pull my left hip back. And then, this is kind of just like an Anjaneyasana, without the squaring of your hips, the stretch isn't the same at all. So really square your hips. You can keep a bend in your front knee. Maybe you just inch a tiny bit closer we are not trying out for the cheerleading squad, so no need to push yourself. Perfect place to honor where you are right this moment. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Lift, lift, lift. Send your leg back. 
child's pose. I did not plan on all these child's poses, but it feels really good, right? Big breath in, send your hips low. Maybe just take a little rock side to side. Feels good to have nice and stretched hips. For me, after this beat, when you're ready, press into your hands. Just come all the way up and down. Press into the tops of your feet. Take one little baby cobra. Just lift up and then lift your feet. Lift your hands for locust. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Tighten up your legs. So isometrically contract your legs and press your toes back. Kind of feel like you're flying a little bit, right? Big breath in. Exhale your hands down, bend your knees. Just let your legs go side to side. This reminds me of a foam rolling situation for your quads. So just press a little bit deeper into the lower part of your thighs as your legs go side to side. And today we'll just take a little quad stretch here. So bring your right leg up. You can reach behind, pull your heel in, press your hip down. And switch sides. Same thing on the left. Legs are ready to do something big today, guys. They are all stretched out for you. And when you're ready, send your legs, press all the way up. Bring your left leg forward, right leg back. We'll take a wide-legged seated forward fold. We're not going for center splits here, but just extend your legs out. Reach your arms up, just like in your seated forward fold. Keep your toes reaching up. Keep your chest lifted. Maybe you walk your hands out a little bit more. Let's walk over to the right side. Your right arm comes to the inside. Reach your left arm up and over to your leg. Try to keep your left booty grounded. I can already feel my left hip trying to lift up. And we'll just switch right over. Go over to the left side, reach up. And then take that big stretch up and over. Come back to the front, send your right leg forward. Let's find one bridge pose. Maybe you take wheel, press into your heels, just lift up your hips, press down to your elbows, keep that gaze up, space between your chin and your chest, just hold. One more big breath in. And then exhale, lower down, Supta Konasana, where we started class today. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. If you were following along, honor yourself. How can you do it the rest of the day? In every decision you make, those two words just kind of pop in. Take note of what you really want in that situation. Both legs come to center, tee out your arms, Take your legs up and over to the left. Gaze to the right. You can flex your toes here. Big twist. And then come back to center. Up and over, opposite side. If there's anything else your body wants, right? And in every single yoga class you take before you come to Shavasana, if there's something else you want, it's your practice. Do it. So take that time right now. And then when you're ready, pull your knees into your chest. And with a huge exhale, find Shavasana Corpse Pose. Kind of love this song. This is where I'm going to leave you guys today. If you've got a few moments, this is where you are. Thank you, Joanne. Thanks for doing class today. Super fun. I'm sweaty, I hope you are. More importantly, I hope you had that hour off from whatever is going on in your world. 
And I hope you take away that idea, honor yourself. I feel like it's taken me forever and a day to figure it out. Patty Samino, if you are watching, you helped me so much. I'm gonna put her in uh, her little link in this class. Check her out, follow her on Facebook. She is pretty amazing. But if we all honored ourselves a little more, what would the world look like, right? Stay here if you can. If you're ready to move on with your day, bring your hands to heart center. Sit up really tall, the teacher and student in me appreciates and honors the teacher and student in each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Namaste. I hope you have an amazing weekend. I hope everyone's getting through still in this challenging time, right? So get your yoga, get the cardio. Yes, right, Denise? I know. I feel like my class on Friday is turning into a stretch fest because of all the things that I'm doing what I'm doing for myself, but no, I'm probably doing two people, right? I feel like this is what we really need. So you guys have a really great weekend. I'm gonna put this back onto my new page on Facebook. It's Lisa D Yoga Fit. Um, hi, Ashley Lee. So I will put it there if you wanna do it later. Fast forward all the talking, it works. Otherwise, have a really great weekend, you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.